today I'm gonna teach you how you can create this bubbly 3D text animation inside of After Effects. Let's go. Now we got two methods of teaching you this effect. First is gonna be the hard way with a lot of rendering and the second one is going to be the easy way without any rendering. Now you might wanna just skip to the easy way. If so, you can do so. The timestamps are linked below. But first I'm gonna teach you how to create it from scratch using Element 3D, let's go. First thing you always gotta do is rotoscope. If you don't know how to rotoscope, we got this tutorial right here which you can watch real quick. Of course, just duplicate it. And I always love to turn my rotoscope layers a certain color so I know which one. This is gonna be orange. And then just double click and grab your roto brush and then just go at it. So just rotoscope out your subject. I'm gonna skip ahead. Now that we have all of our rotoscoping done, you can see we're back in our main composition and our subject is fully rotoed out. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to add our text. Obviously you have to add your text at one point. I'm just gonna go ahead and type our text. Bia, shout out Bia Badubi. Her new album is absolute heat. Now that we have our text, let's go ahead and add a new layer. We're gonna click layer, hit new and just create a solid. This could be whatever solid color doesn't really matter. Then we're gonna go to our effects and time to apply our element 3d plugin let's drag on the element to our solid layer and the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hit the custom layers hit custom text and mask and set path layer 1 to your text so that's gonna say be right there and now we can go ahead and hit scene setup in the element 3d scene the first thing you're gonna do is click extrude and boom now we have our text in 3d space the first thing i always like to do is hit the drop down hit the material and extrude it a little bit further then i'm going to add some like round bubbliness to this effect so you can see right here our bubbliness on the, the bevel is not that much so what we're going to do is we are going to increase the bevel depth a bit to like three three point three ish and then i'm just going to go ahead and expand the bevel size a crap ton so let's do that to like four and there we go now we're having some more like rounded edges you can just keep expanding to your liking okay there we go that's looking pretty good to me now let's go ahead and create our material we're gonna go to our presets if you have pro shaders for element 3d it's a great add-on for the plugin it just comes with a bunch of materials that you can just pretty much drag and drop and create some cool textures and stuff but if you want to create a material from scratch it's really easy just click on the material right here and then scroll down over here to your options and we're going to click on the basic settings and change the diffuse color to like a nice light pinkish tone right there there you go okay, okay and i'm going to turn up our diffuse a little bit so our color is just a little bit brighter and there we go that's looking pretty nice then i'm going to make sure our glossiness is 100 percent reflectivity we can turn up a tad bit let's do like 17 percent so it gets this nice like plastic shine right here and uh yeah that's looking pretty good if you want to take this another step you can go ahead and hit okay to click out of this and you'll see our text is now in our scene it's looking pretty good, but like I said, if you want to take another step and adjust to the perfect lighting, you can go ahead and hit the drop down on custom texture maps, change layer one to your video clip, go back to your scene setup, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to click on this little picture button and change your environment to the custom layer one, which is your video now. And you can hit okay and now your lighting is adjusted perfectly to scene of your video um that's if you want so that just adds like another scene of like realism to it then what we're going to do is we're going to animate it now so you can actually turn off your text layer by just turning off the visibility we don't need that anymore and i'm going to drag this solid layer be behind our roto layer so now that our 3d text is behind our subject it's looking a lot cooler now let's go ahead and animate it so i'm gonna hit the drop down on group one hit the drop down on particle replicator and let's reposition it so it's a little bit higher then i'm going to hit the drop down on particle look hit the drop down on multi-object enable multi-object and now let's do some magic keyframe magic right now very beginning of the clip hit a keyframe at rotation random and then scroll up and hit a keyframe at the particle size and set that to zero then we're going to go like about one second in and i'm going to change that particle size back up to 10. let's go ahead and go to the very end of our clip now and we are going to turn up that random rotation just a bunch so it's like really random and we can actually go back to the beginning if you want and just like set the rotation random to like negative 92. i'm going to change the uh, quality to like 
quarter so we can render faster. And you can see we have our text pop in and the letters are like kind of moving around, but everything looks very linear and stagnant and the effect is just not that cool. So to make it look cooler, obviously, we are going to hit the graph editor on our timeline and then I'm just going to select all the keyframes and we're gonna hit this nice little like easy ease curve so that everything gets this nice like curve animation to it. So the rotation random, let's go ahead and make it like really fast in the beginning and then it's gonna slow down towards the end. Then we're gonna do the same for our size as well. So particle size in the very beginning right here, I'm just going to select these keyframes and click the easy ease button and this first anchor point drag all the way to the top so that way our text like pops in really fast and slows down. You can hold shift on that last keyframe to drag it out just a little bit more so that the scale just continues a little bit longer. And there we go, now we have some nice animation with our text. One last thing you can always do is turn on that motion blur so we got some really cool motion blur in the beginning and it just makes your effect look a lot more realistic and like natural. Now for the easy method, I'm gonna be using some template overlays from our new animation font pack now this font pack is absolutely insane we got like letters and animations of every different kind we have chrome animations right here we got CRT fonts we have newspaper fonts and of course we have 3d bubble fonts just like the effects that we made today and these are all pre-rendered so all you have to do is drag and drop and so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna select our letters that you want uh, B E A exclamation mark and drag on to our timeline right there now I'm gonna drag this under our roto layer turn off your roto layer for now just so we can uh, mess around with it make sure you're selected on all your your letters and hold shift to scale this down uh, to the proper size now we're going to key out the green go to your effects and search for the key light effect and apply that to the top layer I'm going to select the screen color and select our green and there we go boom we have our green removed of our first layer. Right click the key light, copy it, and then you can select the rest of your letters right there and hit Command V to paste and now all the green is removed of the rest of those. Now you can just go ahead and drag around these letters until they're lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this portion. And now if we play that out, boom, you can see we have our original version and our pre-rendered version. You see how easy that was? We didn't do any rendering, didn't do any text layers, no element 3D, just drag and drop and key light. Of course, there's a difference with the lighting with our original clip, but you can just go ahead and adjust the lumetri color to get the proper lighting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our original element 3D layer, select all of our letters, and we are going to right click them and pre-compose. Make sure you select move all attributes into new composition and hit okay. Now all our letters are in one layer. We can go ahead and rescale this and reposition to somewhere where we like it. And then I'm gonna turn on my rotoscope layer again and boom. And just like that, we got some bubbly text animation. Now, if you wanna check out this Pack. It's all available at our website, 11percent.net. There we got titles, overlays, presets, and just a bunch of other crazy packs. We have, we have camera shake presets that you can just drag and drop onto your videos for Premiere Pro, and just a bunch of more overlays. This bundle right here features all of our overlay collections with like CRT, paint, mixed media, chrome, just a bunch of other cool stuff. So if you want to check it out, it's all available. Link below in the description. Hope this video helps. Leave a comment below if you had any questions, and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace. Thank you.